Hello everyone and welcome to another solo Don't Worry Be Happy. Today we are off to Africa, Kenya. I've got a cracking beer from Beers of Europe. It's called Bop Tusca. So we're going to crack this open, have a look. Oh, oh gosh, Let's see what we think of it. It's a lager, it's a pilsner, I know. I'm going to get over it. I truly am going to get over it. Golden colour. Let's see how feisty it is. Oh, got a nice little fizz and a few bubbles there. And, and the swirly bubbles are going through, so that's quite a nice little feature. And it does have a crisp um, smell to it. Mm. So never had a, a Kenyan beer before. I've been to a couple of times in Africa. Um, never Kenya and never a Kenyan beer. Um, the head's dispersing quite quickly, and so are the bubbles, which is slightly disappointing. Um, doesn't affect the taste, though. So the taste to begin with, when it was all kind of nice and fizzy, still remains the same. You're getting a touch of bitterness. And you can tell that there is an alcoholic content in there. So bottle design, I like this. It's got brilliant tusk at the bottom. That's a big hit. The label, yeah, it comes across as a bit simplistic, but it draws you in. The colours are cool. Not quite sure if you can see it, but there's some nice yellow in there. And Tusca, together forever. It's a nice bottle. That gets an eight for me. So the colour for me, it, I wanted a bit more depth, I think, to my to my lager. Um and it's and it's a bit too it's a bit too light. So the, the colour for me is gonna get a six. And I reckon if I'm having a curry, this is actually quite nice. It's not gonna swamp any of your flavours. Um but it is. It it's it's rather delightful. Hmm. So before I get our quaff it all the way back. So taste is going to get a seven. Danger is going to get a seven. And the reason for that is I know I'm kind of drinking the beer. And I know it's like a 4.2%. And that's all right. There's a time and a place for 4.2%. And I think if you're just sitting there having a chat, not wanting to be um, you know, distracted by what kind of beer you're tasting and how it feels and looks, this is this is cool, but you know what? I've never had many Kenyan beers. This is my first one, and it doesn't disappoint. So a seven out of ten. Get some for your party. Make sure they're cold, and you won't be disappointed. Cheers, everybody. Bottom up.